Hello kids, today we are going to solve paper Pearson at Excel International Advanced Level that's the May 2025 and it's of unit 2 energetic group chemistry, halogenoalkanes and alcohols are the topic that will be that are included in unit 2. So we will solve each and every MCQ one by one and I'll explain everything all the information that is given in the MCQ and it is part of your curriculum so let's dive into question one it says 25 centimeter cube of hydroxide oxide solution so you can underline whenever you are reading some information it's good to underline the question so that you will be able to know what information is already given and what has been asked and the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 2 moles per dm cube was added to 30 centimeter cube of ethanoic acid and the concentration of the acid is 1 mole per dm cube in a polystyrene cup the mixture was stirred causing the temperature to increase and there's an increase in temperature that's exothermic reaction okay so what is the expression for enthalpy change of neutralization whatever the the word or the terminology come along with the mcq i'm going to tell you about that um, as well um, sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid in joules per mole and assuming they have given you the specific heat capacity which is already known and you don't need to learn that it's given in the question and the density of the mixture is one grams per centimeter cube so let's see um, how we're going to proceed because they're talking about um, an experimental this this question is about experimental determination of enthalpy change of neutralization so let's recap what neutralization is remember neutralization is a chemical reaction in which acids react with alkali so I'll give you a quick recap of neutralization chemical reaction in which acid reacts with alkali and you get salt and water so this is what neutralization is but here we're not talking about only neutralization here we're talking about enthalpy change of neutralization so you should be knowing what is the definition of enthalpy change of neutralization remember uh, there are different enthalpy changes given in your uh, curriculum so let's see how you're going to write down what is the sign whenever you're writing the enthalpy change you just write half word of the neutralization that is n-e-u-t and then we have enthalpy and then there's a sign this says uh, this indicates the standard so basically this triangle is delta that is change and h is enthalpy and neutralization you have already mentioned under the uh, delta uh, sign okay so if we talk about what is enthalpy change of neutralization so that is if i ask you because in exam you can be asked about the definition not in this question but obviously you should be knowing what is enthalpy change of neutralization so uh, how are you going to define it? It's the in the standard enthalpy change of neutralization is the enthalpy change. measured at hundred kilo Pascal that's for pressure 
and a specified temperature and that temperature is you need to learn this definition because sometimes you will be asked in exam to write down the definition so that's 298 Kelvin when one mole of water is produced by the neutralization of an acid with an alkali. So this is how you're going to write the definition for standard enthalpy change of neutralization. So coming back uh, to the question, it says that what is the expression for the enthalpy change of neutralization? So you should be knowing how we're going to because this is uh, the experimental determination and enthalpy change of neutralization. For that we have two formulas. One is you know that that's called Q is equals to M c delta t where what is q this is heat energy then we have m it's the mass of solution c is the specific heat constant that is already given the value is given in the question you don't need to learn that and then we have delta t that's the change in the temperature that's also mentioned in the question right so how many things do we have we have the mass of solution we have c and we have delta t so we can easily find out the value of q but looking back at the question you can see that the there's no the exact answer is not given they have given you in form of calculation right so you need to remember you don't need to solve this question you just need to bring your question to this stage okay so how are you going to do that uh, let's say what we have got we have got mass mass how are you going to calculate the mass um, you can see what the things are given to us we have given two moles per uh, sodium hydroxide is 25 centimeter cube and ethanoic acid is 30 so if i add these two up it gives you uh, the act, the total volume so if we see that the volume of sodium hydroxide is given and the volume of ethanoic acid is also given to us and the volume of sodium hydroxide is 25 centimeter cube right and this is um and then we have 30 centimeter cube uh, is the volume of ethanoic acid right so how are you going to if i add this up what i get is 55 centimeter cube here is the thing uh, to remember you need to remember that uh, what is the formula of density formula is density is mass per unit volume right because they have already uh, given us that the density it's given it's mentioned in the question that the density of the mixture is one grams per centimeter cube so that means we have density that is one okay so we have got this volume uh, value one we know uh, what is the volume this is the volume 55 that we have already calculated but we need to find out the mass then how are you going to do it you just simply uh, swap this formula in order to get density into volume density one volume is 55 so now we are going to assume that mass is also 55 grams right so now uh, you don't need to worry about that you're just going to place the value that is uh, 55 is going to be the mass which we were looking for in this question only um, mass was missing this thing was missing so now we have cal calculated the value of mass as well now what we need to do is because it's uh, 
there is another formula that's called enthalpy change q is the heat energy divided by moles so this is another formula that you need to know because actually they are asking about the enthalpy change we need to find this out so if i place all the things over here that q what is q q is this mc delta t so i play if i place the value of q as m c delta t but still we are unaware of the number of moles so we need to calculate moles we don't know the moles until and unless we don't know the moles we cannot find out the value of delta h which is actually asked in your question so in order to find out the moles what you're going to do is it's simple you know what is the formula of mole when concentration and volume is given so that in that case you have moles is equals to concentration into volume right so here basically we do have the concentration of sodium hydroxide we have got the volume of sodium hydroxide we have got the concentration of acid as well so uh, how are you going to know which value we are going to apply here because uh, we need to know which one is the limiting reagent right so in this case um, we are going to um, calculate the moles for both for acid and for alkali so the moles of acid what was the volume of acid given volume of acid is the 30 and concentration is 1 okay so you're going to 30 into 1 and because it is given in centimeter cube and we need to convert it into decimeter cube so we're going to divide it by 1000 so we got point zero three. okay and then we have moles for alkali so the val value of alkali given is 25 centimeter cube and the concentration is 2 divided by 1000 so we get uh, 0 0.05 so this is by looking at uh, the, these two because they are both in one is to one ratio so we know that um, we have a limiting reagent here we have a limiting reagent that is acid this because it's the less number of moles involved here so this is a limiting reagent now uh, we have got all the values for this equation so we can simply place what was the mass that we have calculated by adding two volumes and then uh, considering it into density so it's going to be 55 specific heat capacity is already given to us that is 4.18 and then we have change in temperature is already given to us that's 6.5 and the number of moles that we have calculated for a limiting reagent is 0 0.03 because there's an increase in the temperature it's an exothermic so going to mark negative so if you look at this uh, then our correct answer is actually looking back which one is the correct answer so d is going to be the correct answer so this is how we have calculated the uh, enthalpy change of neutralization of sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid let me recap this we have experimental determination of enthalpy change of neutralization we should be knowing what is neutralization that is acid and alkali reacts together to give you salt and water and then we have the definition you need to learn these definitions because these are very important then in hash cycle also you will be given some um, uh, cycles to complete in that order you need to know the definition exactly so the standard enthalpy change of neutralization is the enthalpy change measured at 100 kilo pascal at uh, specified temperature of 20 298 kelvin when one mole of it's very important one mole you have to mention otherwise you're not going to get marked for definition one mole of water is produced by the neutralization of acid within alkali so here we are actually looking for 
the examiner is asking about this enthalpy chain this thing so for this this thing to happen what we need to do is we need to find the value of q and you know that q is equals to mc delta t q is the mass of the solution that we have added both the vo volumes here you can see the volume of sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid and then we have considered it as a mass because this was at the density given at this point was one so that's how we consider it as a gram so now we have got specific heat c the value of delta t is already given to us that's 6.5 and then we place all these values but we are not actually we were not having any value for the moles and then we have calculated the moles for acids and moles for al alkali and by looking at this we have to find that this is a limiting reagent and then we're going to place the moles value over here and then we've got our answer that is correct answer that is the d is the correct answer and if you have any question related to this you can uh, comment thank you